Active galactic nuclei, or AGN, are supermassive black holes at the centers of certain galaxies. As matter spirals into these black holes, immense amounts of energy are released, making AGN some of the brightest and most energetic phenomena that can be observed in space. Recently, astronomers at the University of Arizona captured the highest resolution infrared images ever taken of an AGN using a tool called the Large Binocular Telescope Interferometer located on Mount Graham in Arizona. So what makes a black hole active? It all depends on how much material is being pulled in. Surrounding the black hole is a glowing disk of gas and dust called an accretion disk. The brighter this disk, the more active the black hole. For example, the AGN in galaxy NGC 1068, one of our cosmic neighbors, is considered highly active because of its intensely bright accretion disk. The Large Binocular Telescope, where this research was conducted, is unique. It uses two massive 8.4 meter mirrors, functioning like two separate telescopes side by side. But the real game changer is the interferometer, which combines light from both mirrors. This setup achieves a resolution far greater than either mirror could manage alone. This technique has previously been used to study volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io, so researchers decided to test it on something even more distant, an AGN. The AGN in NGC 1068 provided the perfect opportunity because of its brightness. The resulting images revealed some fascinating details. Close to the black hole, radiation from the surrounding accretion disk pushes the surrounding dust outward, creating what's known as a dusty wind. But farther away, the images showed something unexpected. Clouds of gas and dust that were far brighter than they should have been, given their distance from the disk. By comparing these new images to earlier observations, researchers traced the bright regions to a powerful radio jet, a stream of radiation and particles blasted out from the black hole. This jet interacts with the surrounding environment, heating up molecular gas and dust as it travels. These processes, known as radio jet feedback, play a significant role in shaping the galaxy. What's groundbreaking about this study is how the interferometer allowed researchers to clearly separate the effects of the radio jet from the dusty winds and study them, something that wasn't possible before due to lower resolution imaging. This clarity helps us better understand how AGN interact with their host galaxies, influencing their evolution over time. The Large Binocular Telescope Interferometer is paving the way for even more detailed studies of the universe. Further instruments like the Giant Magellan Telescope in Chile will take this kind of imaging even further. Beyond AGN, this technique can be applied to study a variety of objects, including disks around young stars and massive evolved stars surrounded by dust. That's it for today, and thank you for watching. And as always, have a fantastic day!